video upload from Aspi with Attitude. If you're watching this for the first time, my name is David. I'm from Melbourne, Australia. I have autism. I have some speech difficulty, the speech impairment, the speech impairment, have a speaking syndrome, and that's why I call myself an Aspi. And so welcome to episode 251. And first off, are you by any chance a fan of a band called The Talking Heads. If you are, you're going to be in for a bit of a treat as I explain how the frontman of Talking Heads, David Byrne, had used his autism as like his superpower to make Talking Heads one of the greatest influential bands from the 1980s. For starters, David Byrne was born on the 14th of May 1952 in Scotland which makes him 70 years old at the time of this video upload. It was eventually that he migrated with his family to Maryland in the USA since that Talking Heads is an American band. The purpose of this video upload isn't to explain Talking Heads in full. I will be explaining David Burns' autism since that you're watching an autistic YouTube creator channel called Aspie with Attitude, explained from the voice of a real autistic individual, which happens to be me. Just get on with it then. The one thing you'll only need to know about Talking Heads is that it's one of the greatest influential bands active from the year 1977 up till 1991, the year when Talking Heads did break up. The band incorporated music elements from the punk scene, art pop, funk, and a bit of folk music, creating a clean cut image that remained successful throughout the 1980s, especially in the new wave music generation back in that era. And if you're watching my YouTube videos for the first time, maybe you'll be clickbaited into my YouTube channel, Aspie of Attitude, as a super fan of the Talking Heads, and I will explain autism from my point of view and from my life experience, since that I am living on the autism spectrum. Autism is just a different way we think and communicate, since most of us do find it challenging to express social norms in neurotypical driven society. As it happens, the whole time when David Byrne was an eccentric frontman for the band Talking Heads. He so happened to communicate with the world through music. This is how music can play an important role for most autistic individuals to express their emotions towards new typical driven society and the social norms around us. This had gave David Byrne the chance to present his creative thought process through dancing, songwriting, and singing. As a whole, his band, Talking Heads, had incorporated all his artistic talents from visual arts to music. Due to David Byrne's creativity that was influenced from his autism, he was able to bring to his band to pop perfection with catchy songs that contributes to a generation of new wave music that came out through the 1980s. David Byrne was successful in socially communicating with the listeners and the fans of Talking Heads through music and songwriting, allowing his songwriting skills to engage with the people who listen to Talking Heads as something that anybody could sing along to. Even back in the year 1999, when a famous song performer and a famous singer called Tom Jones did actually cover Burning Down the House, which was from the Talking Heads and collaborated with another group from the 90s called the Cardigans. And just to move on, to make the band Talking Heads possible, it appears that David Byrne did an awesome job embracing his autism as a performing artist. Without it, Talking Heads would sound different, being on a different dynamics from what we are already familiar with once it comes to 
listening to Talking Heads. Looks like David Byrne did use his autism as his superpower, letting his autism to shine through his works and his performances as a frontman of the Talking Heads. David Byrne was also a visual artist and he was a music performer who knew how to play any given musical instruments known to man. He became a maestro emotionally expressing his autism through music and using music as a form of communication towards neurotypical driven society. As of the time of this video upload, Talking Heads is one of the greatest influential bands straight out of the new wave music scene from the 1980s generation. And there will never ever be another band as unique as the Talking Heads. This is how David Byrne did use his autistic traits to influence the full success of the Talking Heads throughout the 1980s music generation. Previously, I did back on the 28th of June 2021, I did explain back in episode 183 how Peter Talk from the 1960s group called The Monkeys was also on the autism spectrum, except the Monkeys was a manufactured group and no one from this group like the Monkeys had ever wrote their own songs like David Byrne had. Considering that this had been a very successful episode in getting a lot of views, which I might expect the same thing to happen with the video content that you're watching now from Aspie of Attitude as I explain David Byrne's autism. Well, finally, this is it. Before I finish this video content, all I ever ask for in terms of support, if you please hit that red button to please subscribe to my YouTube channel, that's all I ever ask for in support, especially if you have enjoyed what I've actually been putting to this video upload and the live work I do. And also, please don't forget to ring this notification bell if you want to keep up to date with Aspie Attitude. Well, just one more thing in terms of support. If you please like and share this video content around, then otherwise, it may make a difference to my autistic YouTube channel called Aspie Attitude. Maybe if you actually have a Twitter account, and how cool it would be if you share around Twitter. So that way, David Byrne himself on the Talking Heads would actually be able to see my video upload from Aspie Attitude, just to see what I've been talking about. Well, it's actually still alive at the time this video upload in August 2022. It's without any given expectations to a road to somewhere I've never been down before in uploading autistic YouTube creator contents from Aspie of Attitude. It'll be cool if I could just see David Byrne actually comment on what I've actually been talking about, him and his autism, since that these days, YouTube and social media have been changing the dynamics in autism in the last few years, all thanks to the internet. Have you so like, did you know that I once used to be an underground Melbourne hip hop artist called Rubex from the year 2003 up till 2016. So that's just my music background here. And like, I hope one day, maybe one day, that David Byrne will watch this video content only if you help turn this content around, maybe on Twitter and other social media platforms will get the attention. And just to show David Byrne how I've been featured off this video content, and I just wonder what David Byrne will actually think of the special effects, only if he gets a chance to see it. So anyway, that's how I usually finish this one off. And I'd like to say, thanks for watching, thanks for listening to Aspie of Attitude, and I hope you enjoyed what I said about David Byrne from the Talking Heads. Peace and respect, and see you next time from Aspie with Attitude. Ooh.